For 25 years, the Miller-Worley Center for the Environment has been preparing women and gender diverse leaders for today and the future by promoting a culture of environmental sustainability and justice on campus and beyond. The late 90s were a time of growing concern about the environment and climate change. Against this backdrop, the Miller-Worley Center for the Environment, then named the Center for Environmental Literacy, was established in 1998 to prepare environmental leaders for today and the future. One of the center's early directors was Lorette Savoy, who oversaw a robust slate of climate programming to help the community grapple with the environmental issues of the day. We wanted to help people imagine environment broadly as sets of circumstances, conditions, and contexts in which we all live. One key example is the public programming we did on climate change and women's health in the environment in fall 2006 and spring 2007. We showed the regional premiere of An Inconvenient Truth, the 2006 documentary highlighting former Vice President Al Gore's work to educate people about climate change. Tim Farnham became the director of the Miller-Worley Center for the Environment in 2010, as the center was named for Leslie Miller, 73, and Richard Worley. We had funding for internships, and we would curate internships. So with the Nature Conservancy, with the Connecticut River Valley Conservancy, all of these different places, either near or far, we had money to support the students. And so we would give funds out to 25 or 30 students every year before we started, Mount Holyoke started the, the, the LINK program. I see like all these opportunities, like there's this grant that is open to students and there's these scholarships that the Miller Worley Center does and these individual projects. Before I didn't really see all that and so now part of my job is showing students like you have this all at your disposal. Catherine Corson became the director of the Miller-Worley Center for the Environment as the college was drafting a new strategic plan, with sustainability being a key priority. One of the goals, of course, was the carbon neutrality goal for 2037, um, which we were thrilled to have the Board of Trustees endorse. Um, and others were uh, improving energy efficiency on campus, increasing solar hot water, the PV panels that went into Kendall, the Food Justice Initiative, increasing local buying, waste management, and increasing a lot of the communications about what was already happening on campus. My hope for the center is that we continue to prepare our students to handle these crises, and that we evolve as the crisis evolves and that we start to see like where we need to be uh, and be at the forefront of what's coming our way. The Miller-Worley Center enables students to make connections that help them understand the concept of environment more broadly in their work, community, and lives. Over its 25 years of existence, the center has supported scores of students as they seek to build an equitable and sustainable future. These students have then gone on as alums to make change beyond the gates in a variety of ways, from economic analysis of power generation in the post-fossil fuel world, to on-the-ground efforts to activate voters concerned about environmental issues, to science policy fellows, and so much more. We look forward to the many ways Mount Holyoke students will reshape the world to be both more sustainable and equitable, assisted by the Miller-Worley Center for the Environment.